Shalom, I give all praises to Yahuwah in Yahushua's name. I acknowledge Yahushua Mashiach as my Almighty, as my Creator, as my Savior, as my Mashiach. Hallelujah. And this is something I want to share with you. Reach out. Yahuwah already gave it to me and I chew on it, I, I ate it, I chew on it, and I digest it, so I'm going to speak it out to you. Hallelujah. First, to read some scriptures, and this is Nag Hamadi. Nag Hamadi, the good news of Thomas. Yahushua said, Look to the living one as long as you live, or you might die, and then try to see the living one, and you will not be able to see. He disciples said to him, 24 prophets have spoken in Israel, yes, we all, and they have spoken of you. Yahushua said to them, You have disregarded the living one who is in your presence and have spoken of the dead. Psalm chapter 40 Delight in the will of Yahuwah To the musician is some of the way Psalm chapter 40 I will wait patiently for Yahuwah And Yah incline unto me And hear my cry Yah brought me up also out Out of a hope horrible pit out of the mirror clay and set my feet upon a rock and establish my goings and Yah have put a new song in my mouth if you praise unto our almighty many shall see it and fear and shall trust in Yahuwah Baruch is the man that maketh Yahuwah his trust and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Yahuwah, my Almighty, are the wonderful works which thou hast done, and thou, and that thus which are towards, towards us. And that thoughts which are to us were they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. And this is the KJV, so let me get all a different translation. And this beat is called upper room, which I'm in the upper room, in the spirit room. To give you what I know, what you what I share with me, what I see in movie, in TV show, in the news, what I see when I walk in the street, what I see in dreams, revelations of the time we are in and we're entering. Concerning us the winter, hallelujah. These are the things Yahuwah has prepared me to share with you, which I ate it first. I ate it. Meditated on day, and I'm gonna share with you in the power of your future one. Hallelujah. And there are mysteries which you want to gonna receive in Yahushua name. Hallelujah. And this we the prophet asked who we are Yahushua is spending the message to who will get the understanding the mysteries, the precept who will receive it. So as you all leave me, as I speak these things, these mysteries, this revelation, the prophecies, what I see, 
due to the rack of discernment you always giving me in your bush warning. Those that want to receive it are those you were predestined to receive it. Hallelujah. Praise God. So now I'm going to sound chapter 40 from the NRV. Psalm chapter 40, the NRV, from the director of music of the we, a psalm. I waited patiently for Yahuwah. Yah turned to me and heard my cry. Yah lifted me out of the slam pit, out of the mud and mirror. Yah set me, Yah set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. Yah put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of hala of praise to our Almighty. Many will see and fear Yahuwah and put a trust in Yahushua. Baruch is the one who trusts in Yahuwah, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false mighty ones, to false GODs. Many Yahuwah, my Almighty, are the wonders you have done, the things you have planned for us. No can compare with you. Where I speak and I tell of your of your deeds, there will be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offering you did not require. Then I say, Yeah, I am. I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my Almighty. Your law is in my heart. Hallelujah. Let me see. And I read it from the KGV, Psalm 40, verse 7. Then I say, Then say, Ah, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me, I did that do that will all my allure. Yeah, the law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in a great congregation. Lo, I have not. Reframe my lips, oh Yahuwah, that knowest. Hallelujah. So this concerning Yahushua Mashiach, which that we, the servant of Yahuwah, was acting in a place that when Yahushua come, that will be the, the beloved, All right? That we was the prophet and was the servant of Yahuwah, but he was prophesying about Yahushua the Messiah coming. Hallelujah. The Messiah came in the volume of the book, and it was also written about that we, that he would be a servant of Yahuwah. And that was the foreshadow Yahushua coming. That whole, the whole book is about the Messiah. From the beginning to the end, it's about Yahushua Messiah coming into the world, which is the Almighty. Hallelujah. And since the Messiah came in the volume of the book, all esteem, all barakah, all honor, it's given to Yahushua Mashiach, hallelujah. And this is why every scripture says, Kiss the Son. It's all about kissing the Son. It's all about Yahushua. Yahushua matters. The truth matters. Yahushua is the truth and the truth matters. It's all about kissing the Son and nourishing Yahushua as your Messiah, as your Almighty. As the scripture says, like the Messiah says, Believe in me, as the scripture says, hallelujah. Everything the scripture says, when the scripture says, it was Yahuwah who saved, it was Yahushua who must give up that barakah, that praise, that esteem to Yahushua. Everything that the Almighty did, 
who give us name to Yahushua. Yahushua is the Almighty. Even the scripture says that. Behold, a son is born. We shall call him Almighty. We will call him Mighty Almighty. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we give all praises to Yahushua. And let me read what I just read again. From the Nagamari. Goodness of Thomas from Nag Hammadi. Yahushua said, Whoever has come to know the world has dis discovered a carcass or a dead body. And whoever has dis discovered a carcass of that person in the world is not worthy. Hallelujah. So once you come from the matrix, then you become a new person. Alright. Then people people that are still in the matrix, you're gonna see those people. They are, they are staying in the matrix, but you, he came out of the matrix, come out of Babylon, and he come out of all the system. Then you're above the world, all right? When you come out of the matrix, you're above the world. You're above how the world think, how the world do things, how the world see, how the world think. Because everybody that's in the matrix, they think like the matrix, all right? They do things like people in the matrix, but when you come out, you you'll be like you'll be like oil over the mud. You'll be like oil over mud. All right. And let me read it again. Yahushua the Messiah said, "Whoever has come to know the world has discovered a carcass, and whoever has discovered a carcass of that person in the world is not worthy." Hallelujah. Us that came from the world, from the matrix, from Babylon, we see the world as a dead body. Hallelujah. We see the world as a dead world. <laughs> 58. Yahushua said, Baruch is the person who has labor and has found life. Hallelujah. To find life, you gotta labor. Because the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field. The field is the world. The kingdom of heaven. Is the Yahushua name? Is the is the Yahushua words? Which one you hear, you get belief, you get faith, faith come a hearing, and when you have belief, then you save, you are saved. So the kind of heaven is like a treasure hid in the field. Yahushua name is hidden. Hallelujah. But now you hear Yahushua name, so everything our secret is going to be spoken. Hallelujah. Yahushua is Messiah. Yahushua is the Almighty. Yahushua came in the van of the book. So every praise, every barakah, every esteem that we give to the Abba Yahuwa must give to Yahushua the Ben. Hallelujah. And Yahuwa made it that way. And I'm in the knowledge of that. I received that revelation that Yahushua is the Almighty. Even the scripture says that this, this son is going to be burnt unto us. And we'll call him the Almighty. So Yahushua is the Almighty. The Messiah came in the van of the book. Hallelujah. <clears throat> 58. Yahushua said, Baru is the person who has labor and has found life. Yahushua said, Look to the living one as long as you live, or you might die, and then try to see the living one. He will be unable to see. Hallelujah. Yahushua is the living one. So while you while you while we're still alive, we should not as your Messiah and not as Yahushua as Yahoo save. Because when you die, the 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 scripture says dead cannot praise Yahweh Almighty. So while you're alive, you should you should know that Yahushua is the Messiah. And you should not as your Messiah. You should know and knowledge. How we know by hearing and how we acknowledge by by knowing in yourself that Yahushua is the Messiah, hallelujah. And even Messiah said, Come to me, that you have life. The Messiah said, Why you pay for why you pay for bread that's not really bread? Alright. <laughs> Go to 52. 
Yahushua disciples said of him, 24 prophets have spoken in Israel, yes we all, and they all spoke of you. So all the prophets from Enoch to the last prophet on this earth, they spoke about Yahushua the Messiah. So the whole scripture proved that Yahushua is the Messiah and the scripture tell how Yahushua looked like. Hallelujah. When the Messiah came on this earth and the Almighty was present in the physical body, the scripture tells us how Yah look like. Hallelujah. Just like his people. We the people look like our creator. So how I look is how the Almighty looked when the Almighty was on his physical earth here. Hallelujah. The Almighty is rock, his spirit is rock, but the Almighty was manifested. Hallelujah. So the Messiah went back. Yahushua is coming again. Would the Messiah have flesh like this? Like, would the Messiah have flesh and bone? No. The Messiah won't have flesh and bone like this because the flesh that we saw the Messiah in is not his real flesh. And the Messiah appeared as Adam to save Adam. And Yahushua went back up. Because Yahushua is the Almighty. And when the Almighty come again, the Almighty won't be in this flesh. Hallelujah. Because that flesh we saw the Messiah in. That they put a death on the stake. And the Almighty rose that flesh, that body on the third day, which is the Shabbat. That flesh, that flesh was borrowed from Adam, the first man. And it says that in the testament of Adam. And we got we got enough time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna reflect back to it. So the Messiah is the Almighty. Hallelujah. That's the understanding. That's the understanding that we will have us to, to receive. And that's that's you being single-minded. Hallelujah. The good testament of Adam. To recap, Testament of Adam is in the other book. Yahushua the Almighty came in the volume of the book, so everything that the book say will give us name to, to Yahushua Almighty. Testament of, of Adam. We must believe Yah, Haya, Yahua, Yahshua, Yahushua, Hallelujah, Yah, Haya, Yahua, Yahshua, Yah live and Yah save. Yah is a call, hallelujah, as the scripture says. <laughs> the scripture does says Yah is a call. Yes, Sama O Yeshua O Yahuwa is a call. Yahuwa is Yah. Who Haya? Who Shua? Yahushua. Hallelujah. And the prophecy that proved the the Messiah is the Almighty that was manifested. The prophecy, if you can see it, let me show you. Okay, the prophecy. The prophecy of Yahushua the Almighty coming. The testament of Adam. Adam said to save his son. You have heard my son that Yahuwah is going to come into the world after a long time. He, Yah, be conceived of a virgin and put on a body be born like him or being and grow up as a child yeah we perform signs and wonders on the earth we walk on the waves of the sea yeah we rebuke the winds and they will be silent the wind and spirits hallelujah yeah we motion to the world to the waves and they will stand still. Yah will open the eyes of the blind 
and cleanse the leper. Yah will cause the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Yah Yahuwa, Yah Yahushua will strengthen the hunchback and strengthen the paralyzed and find the lost and drive out evil spirits and cast out demons. He Yah Yahuwa spoke to me about this in paradise after I baked some of the food in which death was hiding. Hallelujah. Yah is a call. Yah is Yahuwa Uhaya. Yah is Yahushua who sure who save. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that's revelation. That's belief. And Yahuwa tells us that Yahuwa gives beliefs on levels. Hallelujah. And we see in the scriptures that those that had the highest belief that were acceptable to Yahuwa, they were taken up. Ali Yahu and Enoch were taken up. Hallelujah. If he, Abraham was taken up, bro, that's for Yahuwa to show him like everything from, from creation to the end. Even in between. So our ancestor Abraham, he know everything as we go to Mosad. Show him everything, and that's in the testament, the testament of Abraham and the apocalypse of Abraham. Hallelujah. So, in the last day, we must have belief because we're in the last day. Our belief will cause us to be taken up. Hallelujah. We'll be taken up before Yahweh wrath. Hallelujah. And some of us will be saved during Yahweh wrath. Some of us will be taken up before Yahweh wrath, and some of us are going to be saved. In Yahweh Rav, hallelujah. So that'll be like Ali Yahu and Ali Shua. Yahuwa is my almighty. Yahushua is my almighty who save Ali Yahu and Ali Shua. Ali Shua, the almighty save. My almighty is Yahuwa who save. Who save is Yahushua. That's you being single minded, hallelujah. Let's dig, let's dig in the scripture. The good news of Thomas. Verse 50. Yahushua said, If they said to you, Where have you come from? Say to them, You have come from the light, from the place where the light came into being by itself. Hallelujah. Yahushua is the Almighty. Yahushua is the light. Yahushua is the everlasting light, the self-existing light. Hallelujah. And appear in, and appear in the image. Hallelujah. Let me read that again. Yahushua is the Almighty that appeared to us in our image. Because while we are Adam children, the flesh is what Adam got when he fell. Before Adam fell, he was. He was in the image of the Almighty. But when he fell, then the Almighty took on the image of Adam. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yahushua said, If they said to you, Where have you come from? Say to them, We have come from the light. The place where the light came into being by itself. Establish itself and appear in their image. Hallelujah. Yahushua is the light that appeared to us in our own image. Quick precept is all uh, John 8 12. John chapter 8 12. Yahushua chapter 8 12. Yahushua spoke again to the people. Yah said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. And we'll go to John 1. 
in the beginning was the world and the world was with the almighty and the world was the almighty yah was in the beginning yah was with the almighty in the beginning through him all things were made before him nothing was made that has been made in him was kaya or ha ha mean ha mean life and yahu is haya yahu is yahu haya ya haya yashua is yahu haya and ya also shua ya have life ya give life ya have life yahua ya give life yahushua ya is a call hallelujah and that's a command moses musa gave us the children of yashua all oh, to yeah to yeah and really understand that yah is a call one is yah who haya is yah who shua save yahua yahushua i won hallelujah In the beginning was the world, and the world was with the Almighty, and the world was Almighty. Yah was with Almighty in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Before him nothing was made. Nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, ha, and that ha was the light of all mankind. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it Yahua is a call Yahua is Yahushua Hallelujah We are to believe that as the scripture says we are to believe in Yahushua Mashiach as the scripture says that he is the almighty that was manifested as the scripture says is, is how you really receive the rock Hallelujah because it's all the doctrines, the darkness, and our darkness comes from all the mystery of lawlessness that teaches that there's, there's Trinity. All right, but the scripture does not teach that. The scripture teaches that Yah is a call. Yah, Haya, Yahshua. Hallelujah. And another read again from the good news of Thomas. Yahushua said, If they said to you, Where have you come from? Say to them, We have come from the light, from the place where the light came into being by itself, established itself, and appeared in their image. Hallelujah. And I preserve to John chapter 8, verse 12, that Yahushua is the light. Yahushua is self existing. That's all saying. Yahua. Hallelujah. And appear in the image. If they say to you, they say you, say we are as children. We are Yahua children. So the sonship is given to us. And we are we are Yahua brothers. And the brothership is also given to us with, with Yahushua. Hallelujah. And that's it's a mystery in there before us we accept it that we are the sons of Yahuwah and it's our heritage to be brothers with Yahuwah as well. The sonship and brothership is given to us. Yahushua is our Almighty, Yahushua is our brethren. Hallelujah. And we Yahushua said we are mighty ones because what we acknowledge. Yahushua as the Almighty, so Yahushua the Messiah said, We are mighty ones. We are mighty ones because we acknowledge Yahushua as the Almighty. As the scripture says, that the Son will be born unto us and we'll call him Abba, we'll call him Malak. He will be our Almighty. It 
if they say the you it is a it's a you see we we are a children and we are chosen of the living abba if they ask you what is the evidence of your your father in you say to them it is motion and rest hallelujah Twelve, Yahushua said, There are many standing at the door, but those who are alone will enter the wedding chamber. Hallelujah. Which are the elect? Which are the one you flow for thousand and the remnant? Hallelujah. came Yahushua Mishia came to purchase some to save some to reap to redeem some he had purchased strangers and made them his own and he had brought back his own whom he had laid down of his own will as a deposit predestination hallelujah according to Romans chapter 8 28 to 32 not only when he appeared there, he lay the soul of his own will as a, disab- as a deposit, but from the beginning of the world, he laid down the soul for the proper moment according to his will. Hallelujah. Then he came forth to take it back. Since it had been laid down as a deposit, it had fallen into the hands of robbers and had been stolen but he has saved it he has redeemed the good in the world and the, and the bad hallelujah of Thomas for the five Yahushua said okay let me start from 13 verse 1 Yahushua said to his disciple compare me to something and tell me what I am like hallelujah so the disciple knew Yahushua was the Messiah but then the Messiah is asking compare me to something and tell me what I'm like there's nobody like Yahuwah, hallelujah. <laughs> Yahushua said, Yahushua said, said to his disciples, compare me to something and tell me what I'm like. Simon Kepha said to him, you are like a just messenger. Matthew, mother Yahu said to him, you are like a wise philosopher <laughs> Thomas said to him Messiah my mouth is utterly unable to say what you are like Hallelujah There's nobody like Yahushua Messiah There's nobody like Yahua Hallelujah Yahushua said I'm not your teacher because you have drunk you have become intoxicated from the bubbling spring which I have tender. Hallelujah. So, when Tamil said to Yahushua, he said, Messiah, my mouth is utterly unable to say what you are like. Then Yahushua said, I'm not your teacher because you have drunk. You have become intoxicated from the bubbling spring which the bubbling, the bubbling spring that have tended and Yah took him and withdrew and spoke three saying to him when Thomas came back to his friends they asked him 
What did Yahushua say to you? Come and say to them, If I tell you one of these sayings, Yah spoke to me, you will pick up rock and stone me, and fire will come from the rock and consume you. Hallelujah. So there's some things we cannot say. Hallelujah. You want to say those things? People won't understand it. And one example is they go to the book, they go to the scripture. <coughs> they go to Revelation. Revelation chapter 14. You read. Prophesied Yahushua came and spoke to the people in parables and they now understand they only understand it besides those that the Messiah chose to understand though to be his followers. So we see through our in the scriptures the Almighty call you to serve him. Hallelujah. The Mosa call you to serve the Mosa. Messiah spoke in parables and people cannot understand it besides his followers. He read the ones that they did not understand it as Yahushua. For the for the many, for the knowledge. Hallelujah. And when Yahushua took Thomas and told him three saying, and then Thomas came back to the rest of the disciples and he asked him what the Yahushua said to you. And he responded by saying that if he Thomas told one of the three things that Yahushua told him, they would stone him and fire was going to come from the rock and consume them. Hallelujah. So that proved that a few people in this world is given belief, which belief is a gift. Hallelujah. It will give us belief. So we believe Yahushua is Messiah, Yahushua is the Almighty, because it's a mystery, hallelujah, that Ben is Abba, that Abba is the Ben. It's a mystery, but it's revealed to me, so I speak it, hallelujah. But let's read Revelation chapter 14, that proves that the same thing will happen again. Then I look, and there before me, was the lamb which Yahushua is the lamb standing on my Zion and with him one year for thousand who had Yahushua his name and his father name written on their foreheads hallelujah Yahushua is the Messiah name Yahushua is the name of our almighty hallelujah let me read it again it says, Revelation chapter 14, Then I look, and there before me was Yahushua the Lamb stand on my Zion, and with him one year of thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their forehead. So what is the Messiah name? The Messiah name is Yahushua. And what is his father's name? His father's name is Yahushua. And that proved that. And I will show you, I will show you visual because we are to cause the death to year which believe come a hearing hallelujah believe come a hearing that Yahushua is the Messiah you're going to believe and we're also to give our eyesight to the blind so I'm going to show you visual that it proves that Yahushua is the Almighty that's the name of the Almighty hallelujah. and let me show you let me begin to show you real quick. Okay, hold on. What is that? All right, and I will show you visual. And this is the good news of, of Philip. It said the name of the Father. Yahuwah is our Father, but Yahuwah our Father has a name. What is Yahuwah's name? That the scripture says those that call on the name of Yahuwah will be saved. So what is Yahuwah's name? 
the good news of Philip, the name of the Father. Only one name is not pronounced in the world, the name the Father gave the Son. It is the name above all. It is the Father's name for the Son who will not have become the Abba if he ya had not put on the Abba name. Those who have this name understand it but do not speak it. Those who do not have it cannot even understand it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that proves that Yahushua is the Almighty that was manifested to us. Yahushua came in the vine of the book. So every esteem, every Bible car, every honor we give to Yahushua Mashiach. To really understand the scriptures, we must give our esteem to Yahushua. Yahushua is the Abba. Yahushua is the Ben. All the scriptures point out that Yahushua is the Messiah and the Abba and the Creator. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the Almighty, and Yahushua the Word is the Almighty. Hallelujah. something else the goodness of Philip truth which has been truth which has existed existed from the beginning is sown everywhere and many see it being sown but few see it being reaped hallelujah the whole world is true. People see the Bible everywhere. You can go anywhere and see the Bible. But only few people can open the Bible and read it and understand it. And those few people were predestined, were given ability. Hallelujah. You can see the physical words in the Bible, but the Bible is a spiritual thing. Hallelujah. You must have the spirit to understand. The spiritual part of the Bible is like a, it's like a plant. It's a carrot. You see a carrot tree. You see the green part, the leaves. Everybody see the green part. And that's why the people say the grass is green on the other side. Where you water the, where you water the grass is why you're gonna be greener. All right. The fruit or the carrot, the, the edible part. It's in the ground, you gotta dig for it. Hallelujah. The Bible is a mystery, it's a puzzle, it's like it's called there. For your honesty, you must have fresh knowledge. Yahushua is the Almighty. You must hear that Yahushua is the Messiah, that Yahushua is the Almighty, and you must believe. Then, when you read the scriptures, you must read it in Yahushua's name. Giving all, all baraka and esteem and honor to Yahushua, then you're going to understand the scriptures. Then the Messiah will open your mind. Hallelujah. Because blindness is over Yeshua or his people. So it's the Messiah that have to open your mind. We were in the matrix. Okay, let's say that was 2016. I didn't know I was an Israelite. I didn't know. I was from the tribe of Yehuda. I didn't know all those things. I, I didn't know Yahushua was the Messiah. I didn't even know what I was doing in 2016. But in 2017, I came, came into knowledge. That's when I received the spirit, the work. And since then, I've been, I've been growing. Hallelujah. And, and you can see my glow. Hallelujah. And I can see your glow. Your, your glow as well. Because we're all on this world. The few of us that own this world, we do not belong to the world, we are here to grow. Hallelujah. To be a witness to the Messiah, to Yahushua. Not the Messiah they preach in the world, but the Messiah that the scripture says is coming. I'm a witness to that Messiah. Hallelujah. Because there's two Messiahs. Oh, there's a real Messiah then. 
is a fake one. Hallelujah. I'm a witness to the real Messiah, Yahushua. Another reading. Truth which existed from the beginning is sown everywhere, and many see it brings sown, but few see it being reaped. Right. They say you sow it, you go to your go to your farm and plant rice. People see planting that rice. A lot of people, but during harvest time, that people, that same people, won't be around to see you harvest that rice. Or they won't have part of the harvest. They will see you sowing the banana. They won't have some of it. So it's like there's the Bible, which is the words of the Almighty, but it was trans transliterated. The Bible was written in Hebrew, Hebrew. In Abrahamic language, and then they trans transliterated it to English. And while doing that, they also changed some things around. All right, they changed the names, which is important because the book of Acts, chapter 412 says salvation only for one name. And that led to our creator, our Messiah, being one, a call. Hallelujah. So that one name is the name of the Messiah, it's the name of the Almighty. Yahushua is the Messiah's name. Hallelujah. Another read another part. Yahushua is the head name. Messiah is revealed. The name Yahushua does not exist in any other language. But Yah is called by the name Yahushua. Hallelujah. People know there's the Messiah, but not everybody know Yahushua is the real Messiah. Hallelujah. They know there's a Messiah, but they don't know his name. So it leads to the scripture that says, that's one of the scripture. Matthew chapter 13. So we're giving all his name to Yahushua Messiah. Our Almighty and Savior and Redeemer. Matthew chapter 13. Parable of the Kingdom for the Four. Again, the Kingdom of Heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which, when a man has found and hid it and for joy. Therefore goes and sell all that he has and buy that field. The kingdom of heaven is hidden. It's like a treasure in the field. Like gold in the ground. You won't know there's a gold in the ground unless you, like, unless you dig for it. Hallelujah. You won't know there's a diamond in the ground unless you dig for it. When you find it, or before you find that diamond or that gold, it was already valuable because why before you found the gold or the dummy it was a dummy it was valuable and when you find it or the exact moment you find a gold or a dummy you're gonna be happy that you found it that there was a dummy in the ground and you found it so you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be valuable because you have a valuable thing hallelujah so now how does it link? Let's read it again. Matthew chapter 1344. Parable of the kingdom. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in the field. That which when a man has found he hid of and for joy therefore goes and set off all he has and bath. In by that field, hallelujah. You find out there's a gold in the ground, you dig for it, you find a gold, you're gonna be rich because why you have a treasure, hallelujah. Yahushua is the Messiah. Now, if I read the scriptures in Yahushua name by belief, then I will understand everything and everything will be made, made.
plain to me and the promises in the scriptures will be given to me. Hallelujah. The promises, the blessings, the barakah, the treasures, the powers, the authority will be given to us, the believers that believe in Yahushua, as the scripture says. And now this is the other part of proof. Yahushua came in the volume of the book. Hallelujah. The Messiah came in the volume of the book. Meaning everything that it says in here is about Yahushua. Just as we read from the beginning. That all the prophets, they preached about Yahushua. When the Messiah came, people did not believe Yahushua that they preached about. All right, so that's why that's what the Messiah said over here. That's what the Messiah said. The Messiah said in all the goodness of Thomas. Verse 52. His disciples said to him, 24 prophets have spoken in Israel and have. Okay. His prophets hit. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. The good news of Thomas from the Nike Hamadi. Verse 52. His disciples said to him, 24 prophets have spoken in Yeshua all. And they have spoken of you. Yahushua said to them, You have you have regarded, you have disregarded the living one who is in front, who is in your presence, and have spoken of the dead. So the disciple made a statement that he said, 24 prophets in the Bible they spoke that Yahushua is the Messiah. But the Messiah answered and said, the person, the Messiah, that the prophet spoke about is right from you, but you're talking about the dead prophets, right? So we must acknowledge that Yahushua is the is the Messiah, is the living one, who Haya, who Haya is Yahuwah, and who save is Yahushua. And this is what the Messiah says, is the Aleph and the Tau, the beginning and the end. That means in the beginning, Yahushua was in the middle. Yahushua was at the end. Yahushua the Almighty and the Messiah is coming again. And that's in the book of that's in the book of Revelation. Revelation 1. Verse 4. John, Yahuwah to the seven assemblies in the providence of Asia. Grace and peace to you from him who is, who was. And who is to come? That him is Yah. Yah is a is a call. Yah is one. Yah is Yahuwah. Who are Yah? Yah is Yahushua. Who save? Hallelujah. Grace and salam to you from him who is, who was, and who is to come. And from the seven spirits, the wrath before his throne. And from Yahushua Mashiach, who is the faithful witness. The firstborn from the dead, the ruler, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. Yahushua is the king of over all the government. Alright. It's the Messiah Yahushua that gave the power to all the government. From the rule, what I do what I do wickedness or the righteousness. Then after the after the nation from the ruling, then yeah, what people gonna rule. Alright. There's gonna come a time that we, the so called black people, will be ruling. Alright, will be have our own government, we won't be like the government of this world. We'll be a heavenly government. Hallelujah. And we'll have power, superpowers, or abilities. We'll be able to live for forever. We'll be immortals in a new body, in a new land. Hallelujah. <laughs> so that proves that Yahushua is the sovereign over all the kings of the earth. And we, the one of the thousand men, Yahushua is going to make us king in the future. Hallelujah. And I fulfill the scripture that Messiah said will be like David. 
will be like that we david was a king so we the men of israel yes we all will be kings hallelujah and i know that so i'm waiting and the, here we, the scripture says those that wait upon Yahuwah so we know the promises of the king of heaven and we're going to wait for those things so you must read the scriptures in Yahushua name and then everything will be given to you you know that Yahushua is the almighty and then everything will be given to you Hallelujah. so I have everything Hallelujah. and now let's read it again Revelation chapter 1 4 Yahuwah to told the seven assemblies in the province of Asia Grace and salam to you from him who is, who was, and who is to come, and from the seven rock or spirits before his throne, and from Yahushua, Messiah, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Hallelujah. Yahushua is the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. <laughs> By his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his Alua and Abba to him be esteemed and power forever and ever. Hallelujah. Look. Yah is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierce him. And all the people on the earth will mourn because of Yahushua. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Yah is the Almighty that is coming. Hallelujah. Yahushua is the Almighty. That's my belief. And I say I believe I speak like, like that we say, because I believe so I spoke. So I'm that we. I believe so I'm speaking. Hallelujah. It says, Yah, Yahushua is coming with the clouds, and if I will see him, even those who pierce him. And all the people on earth will moan or cry because of Yahushua. When the Messiah comes, the Messiah is coming with a lot of angels, which are the chariots. Right? And the people are going to start crying because for a lot of reasons, the scripture tells us that for a lot of reasons, they're going to start crying. And some of the reasons are because they do not know Yahushua, but we we know the Messiah. So when the Messiah comes, it won't be like a like a thief coming to us. We will know is Yahushua the Messiah who is coming, and we'll be ready. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Hallelujah! I know Yahushua is the Messiah, and I'm doing His will, and I'm prepared. Hallelujah! Even before the Messiah come, the things that are gonna happen, which is happening now, and it's gonna escalate. We are prepared for those things. <laughs> we are prepared for the family, for no food, no physical food, especially no spiritual food. Because while we are spiritual people, and it's spiritual food that we live by. The righteous live by faith, and not by physical food, not by bread. Hallelujah. So, we are ready for those things. We are in the days of Noah, we are ready to swim, to be Phoenix. Hallelujah. Go out there of Noah, there was a flood water, and then it's going to be the same thing, but now it won't be flood water. The, the Almighty won't flood the, the earth with water anymore, or it's going to be fire, a nuclear fire, and fire going to go forth from Yahushua Messiah. Hallelujah. Because the first fire, the first water went forth from Yahushua, so when the Messiah comes, fire gonna go forth from him. So fire and water as as cleansing agent. Alright. The first war was described by water. And this last one, which was in the last days, gonna be described by fire. Hallelujah. And nuclear fire is coming. And you see all the nations, they got nukes, they got missiles, they got tummy bombs, or they upgraded from tummy bombs to nukes and missiles. So all the things are going to be used at the proper time. But when I scared of nuclear war, we are going to be Phoenix at the end. We'll be fiery being. We'll be like all. Oh, we'll be like fire or oh, human touch. We'll be like Super Saiyan. We'll be able to raise our vibration, everything. And even right now, we can do those things. All right. 
because we are in it we are in the shadow of your so we can be in the vibration of your almighty hallelujah you can channel your anger and your healing and this is why Yahushua says those of us that believe in Yahushua we can lay our hand on people's forehead and they, when they are sick they won't be sick anymore because we are using the greater power we are channeling the almighty power so it's like we are in the avatar state when you are in the avatar state you are able to access everything all right what, what Isaiah the prophet know I know it what John knew I know it what Jeremiah know I know it what all Elijah, Aliyah, the prophet, no, I know it. So it's like all the powers, the prophets, they have, we have the power as well. Hallelujah. So we receive power from on high. By belief, we receive power and we activate our powers by belief. Hallelujah. <laughs> and now I read it one more time to get it, the revelation. Revelation, which may be viewing. Revelation 1, verse 7. Look, Yah is coming over the clouds, and every hour sat, if I will see him, even those who pierce him. So the people that pierce the Messiah, they are there. When the Messiah was on the stake, people pierced him on the side to see if he was there, and water and blood came out. All right. That is Sandra. Believe in Yahushua and then you should baptize. And then you will receive the Spirit. Right. As people say, people say Holy Spirit, but people don't have the Holy Spirit. So how can you receive the Spirit? So they want to read in the scriptures how you can receive the Spirit. Because it's like people want to receive the Spirit, but they don't know how the Spirit is received. Seeing I received the rock, the Spirit of the Almighty. I'm going to read the scriptures. How you can receive the rock of your Almighty, Hallelujah. So I'll be like a witness. Like if you ask who is the Messiah, then I will tell you Yahushua is the Messiah because I believe, and I can explain with scriptures and the scripture prove that Yahushua is the Messiah because of why the Messiah came in the fourth volume of the book. So everything like in the book, okay, what is volume? Volume is something like large or the space of something. It's volume, the space that something take. That's something half that's volume so the all these books the holy bible this is the six books the book of Joshua, the book of jubilee the book of enoch or the neck muddy or all the books they prove that yahushua is the messiah everything it says is yahushua the almighty who did it hallelujah so that's 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 what you should remember is the that Yahushua came in the bottom of the book. It was prophesied that the Almighty will come to his people because his people, we the people are physical people. Okay, you see me in the flesh. I got blood in my flesh, I got bone in my body. So when the Almighty came, the Almighty is spirit, but the Almighty was manifested as a physical person. Hallelujah. And that's special things. So we can understand those things. Alright. Now I'm gonna go. The good old the part that says yeah, wish you is the bread. And then we're gonna go to the part that proved that how you can receive the rock. Right. 